With all the rain that we've seen lately, many of us know it's time to start mowing that grass on a regular basis again. Before you do that, with some things to keep in mind here, mm -hmm. meteorologist mm -hmm. KJ Jacobs with some best practices to keep the yard looking good while also supporting an important part of our ecosystem. For some people, mowing the grass is a chore. For some, it may even be a hobby. And for many people, it's a livelihood. At the end of the day, it's all about curb appeal. Summer is just around the corner and your grass might be greener on the other side due to sunlight, water and warmer temperatures. City arborist Lori Reed says while a manicured lawn provides a nice curb appeal, it also supports spring pollinators and mowing less could help keep them around. I like the term low mow. So what that would be is to low, mow your grass every two, maybe three weeks instead of going the whole entire month, but continue that throughout the spring and the entire summer because all those insects, they need nectar. Although grass grows faster in the spring and early summer due to more sunlight and warmer temperatures. Reed says one way to help pollinators is to maintain curb appeal in your front yard and reduce the number of times you mow the backyard. If you can concentrate the low mow in the backyard and let those different flowering plants come up, that's a great thing. Keep maintaining your front yard to the standard that you're looking for. Maybe your HOA requires it, but then you have an opportunity to have a natural area in your backyard. And mowing less could help support the abundance of insects. 